how many black cats did you run over in the pre-season? <laughs> yeah, um, it's been unfortunate, but um, trying to find the balance between, um, you know, dealing with the injuries and then getting on with it is, is really important for us. So I really concentrating on the guys who are available at the moment. How many players are you going to have to choose from this week? <laughs> um, it's, it's, it's quite remarkable, really. I don't think I've seen it in my time as a player or, or as a coach. I, I think we'll have 26 to, to choose from. Big surprise on late last week, Thursday, Friday. I think a lot of people were shocked that Jack's back. Were you surprised? I was pleasantly surprised. Um, and um, I was sort of hoping, more than expecting. You'd think the players will embrace him and it'll be OK because, I mean, there were reports that some weren't too happy with all the situation. Yeah, uh, from what I saw on Friday, um, there's absolutely zero issues with our players. So um, I think the sense of belonging is still there. It's, it's a sanctuary for our players and he's one of us. So um, if anything, it's probably strengthened our group. All the talk from externally is going to be, well, how is this possible? He didn't want to be vaccinated. That was the report. And he, then he comes back. The question will be, is there exemptions? And how, how is he just sort of almost backflipped? I actually don't know the detail. I know he's um, complied with the AFL protocols and he's, um, he's back with us. So I, I haven't asked Jack the specifics. I don't think it's my place to. I think it's a personal thing that he's worked through. The foot is an issue, though. He's come back with a bit of a niggle in the foot. Yeah, yeah unfortunately. I mean, we've known about that for a few weeks. So... Um, you know, he's working through that. He's got to get his match fitness up. He's an extremely fit athlete, so I dare say conditioning won't be an issue. It'll just be the match fitness part um, and the niggle in the foot. Tim Kelly's um, got his own COVID stuff going on. His whole family's got it. It's interesting. I think it's going to be the new norm now. The health and safety protocols the AFL have set, um, he obviously falls under that banner. The COVID situation, once again, that's, that's quite private as well. Um, so I know... Some people like to declare it, um, yeah. some people don't. I just don't feel comfortable talking about those sorts of things. That's just my personal opinion on it all. Willie Rioli, that's exciting. It's been more than two years. Where is he at? Yeah, it's been, it's been great for him. He's had a full pre-season, albeit he's had a few niggles early, early in Jan. I think he feels like he's home. Um, and we really look forward to seeing him play this week. You know, it's, uh, it's been a long time coming. One young guy who's been a standout really on the track and maybe surprised a few is Brady Hoff. The Hoff, is he a chance? Yeah, he'll play. He'll play this week. He'll, he'll debut for the football club. Um, pick 31 on the draft. You know, the reports on him when we drafted him, he's just adapted to every level he's gone up to. I really look forward to seeing him play. When it comes to the bigger picture, where is this footy club at? It's the time of year where everyone's, you know, doing predictions, top eights, bottom oh, yeah. fours. How are we going? Well, not great at the moment. <laughs> Everybody's writing you off. But yeah. that's happened before. A true indication of where our team is at, it's hard to judge. You know, there's probably 11 players out of our starting 18 unavailable. Um, so you, you really can't put a finger on exactly what our list is capable of. Internally, you know, we, we cannot control outside noise. And no doubt with, with Willie, with Jack, um, with our injuries, it's more than ever we need to concentrate on what's important inside the four walls. Um, we need to play with energy and intent. You know, our fans um, and loyal members, that's what they want to see. So winning's great, definitely. But you know, what we did last week, I thought we played with real spirit. And that's, that's our start point from there. And hopefully we can jag a couple of wins early in the year. Well, mate, good luck for the season. Good luck against the Suns on Sunday. And looking forward to a big year on Seven News. Thanks, Ron.